In this episode of Our Wyoming, we wanted to show you what antelope hunting can look like through the eyes of someone who's never experienced it before. I didn't know what to expect. It was a lot of pressure. I was shaking. <laughs> Wyoming PBS's camera crew followed first-time antelope hunter Havely Holt alongside former Chief Justice of the Wyoming Supreme Court, Marilyn Kite, as they competed in the women's one-shot antelope hunt. She says what's on her mind, and those are the kind of people that I just love to hang out with. It was more of the support that she gave me, uh, another woman who had done it before. We uh, get up really early. Everybody gathered outside and we hopped in the truck and away we went on our big adventure. It had two triggers. And his fingers were so fat that oh. he would pull both triggers at the same time. Oh God. Many people who haven't experienced hunting might imagine it to involve thick brush, camping deep in the forest, constantly and quietly sneaking, and seemingly unending walking. But in the vast open high plains of Wyoming, Antelope hunting doesn't usually involve as much walking as people might think. You can drive right up to them, basically. Oh, no, there's a bunch of them. There's a big mess. Oh, there's a good buck in there. We need to get you within 100 yards. Eight tell, yards. Tell the guide you wanted 100 yards. Eight yeah. yards. <laughs> you be able to pet them. Uh, so you scout them out in your car, mainly, or at least that's what we did. And then once you get out of your car, that's when they spook. Yeah, if you stepped out right now, they'd, <laughs> they'd be gone. It's not gonna be some easy deal. We tried to generally drive past where they were and stalk them from a side that they can't see you. Don't, don't slam your door. <laughs> uh, game plan didn't work out a few times. <laughs> We traveled and covered a lot of ground. We get to the base of this hill and he's like, so, <laughs> how do you feel about that? And I'm like, ah, we're good, let's go. And so we start climbing up it and around here, you know, a hill is not really a hill. When we got to the top of that hill, however, uh, having to belly crawl through the rocks and try to put the sneak on him was something else. I thought he was crazy when he said, <laughs> just put the gun in front of you and just do the army crawl. And I was like, yeah, I'm almost 40. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> they kind of caught wind that we were there. And after all of that, we had to back out of it and try to go another way. But the one you're looking at this way. We were coming up on another group of antelope when we snuck up on them on one side and we happened upon this giant spider. It was horribly disgusting. We got to the top, scoped them out, and just kind of waited and we were trying to be patient so that we could get the best shot. And at that point we were about 99 yards away from the animals and they started to turn and walk away and the one that uh, my guide had pointed out turned broadside and I was able to get one shot and down it went. Take it. Just take whatever you can. Oh, that was fun. All right. Thank you so much. How's that feel? Good. I was very calm, and I wasn't nervous at all, like I thought I would be. So I knew... Were you confident that you'd hit him? Yes. I knew I was going to hit him. So... Cool. And he's the one that's going to fill my freezer. So it's good. It's a good thing. Perfect shot. 100 yard clean shot. 
That is exciting. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the first of I'm many. I'm so glad. The first of many. Thank you. Yeah. Marilyn's a great lady. Oh, she's very good shot. Yeah, don't piss her off. <laughs> I sent mine to the processor and I should pick it up in the morning. The whole experience was just something that you can't ever replicate again. Women from all over the country travel to Wyoming to participate in the women's one-shot competition. We asked why and the answer was classic. Well, for one thing, Wyoming has antelope. <laughs> You'll often hear it said, there are more antelope in Wyoming than there are people, which is actually true. And for many Wyomingites, that's exactly why they love it here.